The prophet is not the man who is the highest in the realm of the spirit because some prophets prophesy from the intuition. But there are pastors and men and believers who are not prophets, yet they operate from the communion level. They travel beyond the intuition and they are in that communion level. And at that level, it is a level of brokenness. You desire nothing. You don't desire anything material. A prophet can be prophesying and tell you to drop your car. He's seeing well, oh. he's, he's seeing well, he, he's hearing well everything. He can be prophesying and tell you, drop your car. The Lord said, drop your car. Do God drive cars? He said, the Lord said, drop your car. He wants the car. So he has the ability to hear. So he has taken advantage and add something. He has edited the prophetic word and added a part that will benefit him. Does that mean that God cannot ask someone to drop a car? Of course, yes. God can ask. I have been asked to drop many things, but many people lied. They add their own. So they've gotten your name right. They've gotten your problem. They, they tell you this and this and this. And then, but the dropping part, it can be from God. It may not be from God. He will add. So at the intuition level, you still have desire for material things. And at the intuition level, you can lie as a prophet. But at the communal level, you are broken. You cannot lie. You need nothing. All you need is God. All you want is God. Nothing but God. At that level, your desire is God. Your focus is God. So that was the level Mas Moron entered. And the Lord asked him what you wanted. And he said, more of you. Give, I just want more time in your presence. Hear me well. When you travel to the communal level, you will weep for yourself. Isaiah at the intuition level. Isaiah chapter 1. What to you fornicators? Isaiah chapter 2. What to you adulteress? Isaiah chapter 3. Chapter 4, chapter 5. He was prophesying to everybody. He was seeing for everybody. But Isaiah chapter 6, the Bible said, The year King Uzziah died, I, Isaiah, saw the Lord. That's the communal level. He was arrested inside. It was no longer about Israel or about people or about the sins of men. When he was taken into the communion dimension, he forgot about the, the sins of Israel. He said, Woe unto me, for I am undone. I am a sinner. I am undone. I am a man with unclean lips. Woe unto me. And then the seraphim have to now come and even qualify him to hear and to speak to God. And after he was taught, he now heard a voice. Whom shall we send? Whom shall I send? Hark! And Isaiah said, send me, Lord. Who sent Isaiah in chapter 1? Who sent him in chapter 2? What of chapter 3 and chapter 4 and then chapter 5? He was already prophesying, but he told God in chapter 6 to send him. Isaiah, tell us who sent in the first five chapters. At the communion level, you will see God and instructions will be given and you will not desire. Isaiah never asked for, he just wanted to be sent by God. Sent me, I'm here. Sent me, Lord. And that was the betting of the ministry of Isaiah. Anybody can prophesy from the intuition level. But men that enter the communion dimension, when they come out, you know that they have met God. Because it's one thing to prophesy using the gift, and it's another thing to prophesy using his presence. For you know by the help of the gift, and when you know by the help of the man himself.